Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another first impression but this time I've got a little bit of a different first impression because of the drugstore bringing out so many new products all the time I thought I would do a one brand first impression so focus on a few bits and not just one item that's sort of launching um, right now at the moment so I can test them out and let you guys know what I think so let's get started with today's one brand first impression So as you may have guessed by the title, I'm going to focus on Rimmel today because I did notice quite a lot of new launches. So I managed to pick up three makeup products from the brand and they're actually not on offer at the moment but in Boots and Superdrug they're three for two at the moment so if you do like any of the products and you want to buy them then definitely go and check out that offer. So what I picked up was the new um, Kate Rimmel London contour palette I guess, it doesn't actually have a name. Um, but yes, it is sort of like a highlight, contour and blush palette and I got this in number two Coral Glow and as far as I could see they only had this in the number two shade so I got that which looks exciting. And then the other thing I got was this Insta Flawless Primer and um, this says it's a perfecting radiant skin tint so I thought the packaging was pretty eye-catching so I thought I would give that a go and then the last thing I got is something that you may have seen recently and if you've watched a lot of my first impressions before I do like trying out new mascaras I just love mascaras whether it's drugstore or high-end and Rimmel had this new one that's called the Volume Colorist Mascara and this is a mascara with a lash tint complex so I'm going to go into a little bit more detail now about the products um, just with regards to the price and packaging what I usually do and then I'm going to demo them and do my usual first impression which is to check back in um, a few more times before I give my overall thoughts. So let's give these a go. Okay, so first up is the um, highlighting and contour palette. So I've just got, I actually got these all from Superdrug, I can't remember if I mentioned that. Um, but I've just got this up on the website. So this was $6.99 and it's called the Rimmel Kate Sculpting Palette in Coral Glow, obviously. So it comes with a highlight, contour and a blush. I love the packaging actually, I think it's really really pretty, it's kind of like a copper colour. Um, and then on the back I really like this because it's got instructions on how to use as well. So this, um, there's a lot of these actually out there on the market at the moment within the drugstore so it's good to try different ones and compare them but I really like um, the fact that this has got three products in for the price. Actually I have just noticed on the Rimmel website that this does come in another colour golden bronze number three but they didn't have this in my super drug they just had number two so I guess the golden bronze is if you've got um, more darker skin um, it will suit you better than this one this is more for paler skins I suppose so the next item is the insta flawless um, I love the packaging and I love the name as well this is what actually caught my eye was the insta thing I'd seen a physician's formula do something like this recently I think they've only just released it and it was um, revolved sort of around the whole Instagram filters thing as well um, so I'm excited to try this I'll let you know what it says on the packaging so it says obviously perfecting radiant skin tint SPF 15 natural looking glow 24 hour moisturization and primes and perfects and this as far as I know comes in two colors as well I got this in number six light medium and it also comes in medium dark as well and this is also 6.99 for 30 mils of product. 
So the mascara retails for $7.99 and this comes in black and extreme black. I got this in the black. I love the packaging but actually this when I initially saw this it's very similar packaging apart from the colour to the Argan oil one that I tried out. I'll put the link up above and down below if you want to go and check out that first impression. But um, if, you, if you did see it, I didn't actually enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Um, I think so anyway. And I think that's what put me off getting this to start with because I thought it was a similar kind of concept. But turns out this has actually got a completely different brush on it and obviously it's for lash tinting. So I'll just, um, it doesn't have much information on here. But if I click onto the actual mascara, it should give me a bit more of an overview on this. So it says, this colorist mascara is Rimmel's first ever mascara that gradually, over time, makes bare lashes darker and in an instant, the volumizing formula loads lashes with jet black impact. Its semi-permanent lash tint complex progressively blackens bare lashes every time you wear it. So that from two weeks onward of regular usage, your naked lashes look darker from root to tip. So I was excited to try this because I've never ever seen anything like this. So let's go ahead and pop on all the products. I've got a bit of concealer here and I also applied my brows, my eyeshadow and my liner. So all I need to do is apply these products. Right, so I've zoomed you in a little bit closer so you can see and I'm just gonna put in my nice little crocodile clips to keep my hair back. And we'll get started with this, the Insta Flawless. So on the back it says, get up and glow with our perfecting skin tint that provides a natural looking radiant glow, erases signs of fatigue. This ultra lightweight formula leaves skin hydrated for up to 24 hours whilst helping to perfect and brighten skin tone. Can be worn alone for a radiant glow or under makeup to extend the wear. So I'm actually gonna wear this on its own so we can see um, how it wears. And these kind of things that have sort of hashtag Insta on them, I guess they're supposed to mimic what you would look like with a filter on, I don't know. So we'll put this on, I think I'm gonna use a brush to put this on. I'm going to use this blank canvas um, F21 brush. So I'm going to put a bit on my hand. It smells quite nice. Fresh. Actually, it smells like the a bit like the um, fake tan, the in shower fake tan that I tested out. So on my hand, this is actually quite a thick consistency um, for something that I guess is supposed to be lightweight, I think. Anyway, let's give it a go. Yeah, it smells exactly like that tanning stuff. And that was the smell I liked to start with before I smelt like biscuits the next day. Okay, so, it's quite glowy. And this actually, on the back of my hand, um, does look more of a medium skin tone, I guess, because it's light to medium. It's almost giving me like a bronzy, glow to the skin. Um, I'd say it's quite a light coverage because I can still see the redness on my cheeks so it's almost a bit like a tinted moisturiser um, but hey we'll roll with it. Okay so on to this sculpting palette. Um, right, so 
Number one is the highlight. So that says it's a soft shimmer powder to highlight and that needs to go here. You can put it above your brows, under the eyes, a bit on the nose as well. Number two is called the contour and it says this is the shading powder to contour so it says you put it here, here, um, obviously under the cheekbones, a little bit here and then here and here. And then number three is the blush and obviously that just goes on the cheeks and it says that it's a powder blush for definition and colour. So I need to work out what brush I'm going to use for everything. So I think for the highlight I'm going to use this Real Techniques 300 brush. So it's quite dusty, it's finely milled. This is the highlight one. It's very, very subtle. It's quite pigmented actually when I put it on my finger. It's sort of more of a champagne colour but it's quite um, a little bit chalky. So I put quite a bit on and it does look glowy now looking at it in the viewfinder. So that's quite nice. So let's go in with the bronzer shade. So this, watching this, is again quite chalky and this looks like it is more of a matte bronzer on my finger anyway. So I'm going to go in with my good old um, Real Techniques 103 brush, I always use this. Oh I can really see that highlight now, maybe I put a bit too much on actually, on my forehead. Okay, this bronze is nice, yeah, it's nice, it's natural. And then I just get this kabuki brush and just blend in everything. Okay, so let's do the blush to finish, so I'm just going to swatch this again on my finger. Again, this is matte, quite pigmented, um, yeah, and more of a peachy coral. So my first impressions actually on these two together is that they work really nicely together. I feel like my face looks like I've been on holiday and I've got sort of a sun kiss glow to it. I really like these two together. Okay, so let's finish with the mascara to complete the look. Now obviously I won't be able to give you a final review and thought on the tint aspect of it because obviously that happens um, throughout time so I maybe will give you an update in a month or when I finish this mascara. So I usually curl my lashes but I'm not going to today obviously so we can see how much volume I get. I love the brush of this. It's um, quite a thin long brush um, and it goes from thick to thin. But it's got loads of bristles on it and it looks really nice. So let's give it a go. So I'll start with my top. And I bought this just in the black and like I said there's a, an extreme black. I'm just going to change mirrors actually. I can't see what I'm doing. Right, so this is quite a dry formula actually. It's not like a wet look. Um, like what was the mascara I tried? Oh, the Maybelline one that I did a first impression on. That was a really wet look mascara. Um, whereas this is very dry. But it is building up.
Okay, so I'm just gonna let this dry a minute and then I'll go under with a cotton bud because I just got a bit underneath. But first impressions on this mascara, um, don't really know what to think to be honest. It's not done anything dramatically different to my lashes. It's definitely not a thickening mascara. I wouldn't say it's overly lengthened them, I just need to have a look again. It has a little bit but it hasn't done or made an impact like some of my other mascaras do. I actually really like the Rimmel um, Lash Accelerator, I really like that, that does lengthen. But this, I would say, doesn't really give that much volume, it's kind of just an average mascara. Anyway, we'll see how it goes throughout the day but these two products I'm actually really liking so far. So the time is now 2.31 so I'll check back um, in a couple of hours and then I'll check back one last time tonight um, and give you my overall thoughts on this one brand first impression. Hi guys, welcome back. I just wanted to give you a quick update. It is now 12 minutes past five. So with regard to the Insta Flawless, I guess, tinted moisturizer, that is still on my face, but it has gone slightly dry and sort of separated in places if you look up close, but far away it still looks pretty good. So the highlight contour and blush palette, the highlight is kind of gone, you can just see it slightly, but nothing as glowy as it was this morning. The blush has completely gone, you can't even really see it, it's more bronzer there. And then the bronzer is still kind of on my face, so that's a good thing. And then with regards to the the mascara sorry i still feel the same about the mascara it doesn't really do anything um dramatic or anything like that but with regards to longevity it is still there i haven't had any transfer or smudging so i will check back in with you for the last time later on and i'll give you my overall thoughts on this first impression on the new rimmel products see you later guys bye Hi guys, welcome back for the last time. So it is now 20 minutes past 10. So obviously I've had this on for a good long while now to test out the products. So let's go through each product separately and I'll let you know um, how it's worn now and also my final thoughts and a score out of five for each. So let's start off with the Insta Flawless sort of tinted moisturiser. Now this stayed on the longest, but as I mentioned in my last check-in, this did sort of cling um, to the skin and make my skin appear really dry. I'm going to insert um, a couple of photos of, as well, sorry, of each product so you can see them on my face now. But yeah, it kind of, it's still radiant. It still looks sort of radiant, but yeah, it kind of just clings and was quite drying. So on its own, I probably wouldn't wear this um, again. I would probably team it with a foundation and use this as a primer. I do like the fact that it's got an SPF 15 in it and it did um, leave a natural looking glow to start with. But it does say it's a 24 hour moisturisation um, product but for me that didn't do that and I don't tend to have dry skin anyway so it just looked quite dry on the skin um, especially now looking at it. So for me I don't know if this is worth the price tag um, but I'd say actually out of all of these, I'll do a spoiler now, I'd say this was my favourite. So I'm going to score this one a 3.7 out of 5. Um, as well, the flawless um, title is a bit deceiving because it's not a flawless foundation or anything. It is what it says down here, a natural looking glow 
uh, radiant skin tint so if you're thinking that you're going to get a flawless coverage then this may not be for you because it is more of a glowy tinted moisturiser. So next on to the sculpting palette, the Rimmel Kate sculpting palette. Now I did again initially love this when I first put it on, it made my skin really glowy, it was really natural, I love the blush. But again, first of all, the blush came off completely, I'd say within a couple of hours, so you would have to top that up. Um, the contour, I'd say, was the thing that stayed on the most. I still look a little bit bronzy, um, but not as bronzy as I looked this morning. But I do love this because it is a matte colour um, and it's not too orange, it's very natural looking. Then the highlight, again, I did like this, but this came off. I can see a slight bit here and a little bit here, but again, it's kind of sort of dried up with the tinted moisturiser and yeah it just looks really patchy and dry um, so this I would score it's hard really because I did like it initially but for me longevity is such a big thing and if something doesn't stay on sort of over two hours then it's not really worth the money so I'm gonna score this a three out of five so lastly was the volume colorist mascara so I can give you my overall thoughts with regards to the volume aspect of it and like I said before I haven't changed my mind this mascara is pretty average it doesn't really give tons of volume when I put a mascara on I like it to give me lots of length volume and sort of that false lash effect but what I said when I was applying it was true it is quite um, a dry formula so you're not going to get that real wet look or anything um, and I actually thought the brush would give me more volume but it just gave me a tiny little bit it may be a bit different if I used a lash curler but really, this didn't give me anything dramatic that I would go, wow, I want to buy that again. So with regards to the tinting aspect, obviously I'll let you know, um, like I said, in a month or when I finish this mascara and give you my final thoughts on that. I may try mixing this as well. I do like layering my mascaras to get sort of volume, length and thickness. So I may try that as well, but for me this was sort of a 2.5 out of 5. So guys, I really hope you found this one brand first impression helpful. And if you did and you like this kind of new concept of a first impression, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know what other brands you would like me to test out or new products or anything like that. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter and also follow me on Snapchat as well. I do post quite a lot on there, just day to day life and things like that. So definitely check me out, I'll pop my Snapchat username down below. And also if you missed my last two previous videos, you can go ahead and click on the picture links and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful start to the week guys and I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye.